Good morning, everyone. My name is Moritz, and I'll be leading you through today's webinar on travel and expense management. When it comes to business costs, travel and expense is at the top. By combining t and &E into one solution, organizations can automate processes and capture employee spend in one single place. That way, you can access integrated spend data, control costs, and deliver better user experience. On that note, a very warm welcome, and thanks for joining today's webinar. I see we have quite a few attendees today from the UK, Sweden, and the Nordics in general, but also a few joining from the Netherlands and Belgium. That's great. So wherever you are based right now, a very warm welcome. Just for your information, this webinar is approximately 45 minutes long, and we will start with a 30-minute presentation followed by a 15-minute Q&A session. So should you have any questions, please do feel free to send those through via the Q&A field, which you can find on the bottom of your screen. My colleagues will then be very happy to answer as many questions as time allows. But speaking of my colleagues, let's have a closer look at who are our experts today. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Roberto from Agencia here on the left-hand side and Bill from Chrome River on the right-hand side. Roberto has close to 20 years experience in the travel industry, having worked in government insurance boards, TMCs, as well as IT companies specialized in airlines, airports, and the business travel industry. Now he is the Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Agencia. Bill, the Director of Partnerships EMEA for Chrome River, has more than 20 years experience in the corporate travel and technology industry. Before joining Chrome River in 2015, Bill worked with a number of established and growing organizations in the travel and travel management industry. Finally, I would like to highlight that this webinar is being recorded and will be shared with all of you afterwards. All attendees are muted, but again, we do encourage you to ask questions via the Q&A field below, and Roberto and Bill will be happy to answer as many questions as possible. Having said that, I would say let's start with what you're all here for. So, Roberto, over to you. All right. Thank you, Moritz. Thanks for that introduction. Really, really appreciate it. So, I will just uh, give you a brief introduction of uh, Egencia and then pass it on to Bill for him to also give his introduction of Chrome River. So, Egencia, as you all know, is, has become the fourth largest TMC worldwide. We, um, we have produced upwards of $8 billion in terms of sales, dollars in terms of sales, and that comes from airfares, hotel rates, car, and, and rail. And we have actually experienced a quite a steep curve when it comes to growth, specifically in 2018 and 2019. Part of this has been fueled by new technology, our new global platform that has allowed us to, to scale. Uh, in terms of being able to support new clients coming in and also to better support current uh, customers. Um, over to you, Bill. Thanks, Roberto, and thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We really appreciate you making the time for this webinar. Chrome River is a global solutions provider for the entire spend management process. We're focused on delivering our solutions across a single digital experience. Now, today we are talking about travel and expense specifically, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to tell you that as well as expense management, Chrome River also provides solutions to help you manage your invoices and your purchase orders. We offer integration capabilities for travel and credit card payments, as well as our newest solution, which we think is really challenging the traditional view of spend management. It's called Prosper. Prosper really helps our customers to drive return on investment from the T&E spend. We've been working with Agencia teams around the globe for a while now, there are many synergies between the companies and the technology that we use. We have a very strong relationship and travel integration lets good travel data flow between Agencia and Chrome River. Over the past 11 years, Chrome River have accumulated over 2 million users across 115 countries, creating and submitting their expense reports in over 117 different currencies. We are a truly global organization and our customers are typically medium to global and Fortune 500 in size and scope. We recently welcomed ExxonMobil to the Chrome River list of customers. They have over 70,000 Chrome River users deployed across the globe. Our solution is currently available in 31 languages. As well as the most widely used languages, we've added Armenian, Bulgarian, Ukrainian, to name a few. 
and this really strengthens our language support further across the European region. As you look at being future ready, consider how quickly the supplier you select is able to add on things that you need. Now, as you might expect, we're really proud of the fact that we have a 97% customer satisfaction, 98% customer retention rate, and our system uptime is currently 99.6%, which is well above the average metrics of the industry we're in. And we do this without locking our customers into any nasty long-term contracts. Our focus is on delivering tangible value to our customers through the user experience, product, and service. Today, Chrome River have more than 100 joint customers with Agencia, representing different company sizes, markets, and industries. There are others that I'd love to tell you about, but as I don't have their permission, we take our client confidentiality seriously, especially with GDPR, I'll leave you with these examples. The key thing to point out here is that these organizations have selected both Agencia and Chrome River to work together to deliver the capabilities that are needed for their travel and expense management. The analytics that we can provide help our customers to manage their workloads now and in the future. Agencia and Chrome River have the architecture to support our customers' growth, profit, and to minimize any risk that they have. With that, let me hand you back to Roberto. All right. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for that. I will now proceed to talking to you about how to make the right choice for the future, or better said, or, or translated, how can I make sure that the investment for business travel that my company is doing, or better said, that I'm doing for my company, actually allows to have a return on investment and to be at the same time future-proof. Now, at Egentia, what we like to, to think, or the way that we like to think about this is about the platform. And the platform is really a, a summary, I would say, of three different benefits, and that is being holistic, uh, it's about all about data, and of course, it's all about third-party providers. Now, if we look at the first one, uh, about being holistic, and if we think how it once used to be, the fact that Previously, the way that companies used to have online booking tools and expense system was that every country was different to another because every booking tool was specialized in either a region or in a specific, even more in a specific country. Having a platform, playing with a platform instead allows you to have the same user experience, the same technology across the board globally. Now imagine that providing to your to your employees, to your users, the same user experience, hence the same travel program globally. Another important benefit is the gathering data, the, the, the actual data. And imagine also linking that to artificial intelligence. And what predictive analytics can do to your travel program, meaning being able to forecast, for example, spend or understanding what the pattern is when it comes to getting advanced, advanced purchase or using more flexible tickets versus other ones. Gathering data allows you to feed, as you all know, your travel program in order to continue to contribute to the growth of the company. Last but not least, we've got the ability to automatically integrate and connect to third-party providers like International SOS, for example, to provide security, uh, or, or better said, when there are any um, security-related events, ISOS will, allow, will help you, will support you in, in figuring that out. Also, with regards to our help, for example, in terms of credit card consolidation and PRISM, as an example, again, of the power of bringing third-party providers in the platform, uh, PRISM specifically for reporting data and specifically when it comes to negotiating fares with, uh, with airlines. So why should you care? Why should we care as uh, travel management professionals? Well, first things first, t and &E is not going away. t and &E is here to stay, and it will continue to increase in line with, with the growth of your companies, of every company. And even more, if we consider all the globalized world, the more commerce expands, the more t and &E is going to be required, the more a company is going to expand, and the more it will require to look at a travel program to support that growth potential. And as managers of travel, as professionals of travel, we're all responsible for putting our best person in the right place at the right time, I'd say also with the right service level, 
in order for them to really perform at the best for our company and, and again, support the growth and be the best return on investment for that company. So t and &E grows really with your business and your business grows with t and &E. We can see this as well in, in the graph that we have, have in front of us. So the real underlying question is, how do I ensure I make the right choice when it comes to investing for my company? How do I ensure that the solution I choose is the best one for my company's needs? And furthermore, that it will be adopted, not just, by, not just now, but future-proofing it. Not just now, but going forward. So when it comes to answering that question, we can't, we can't really, we'd love to provide that answer for you without a doubt, but we can't really do that. What we can do is instead support you in navigating what the bigger things are when it comes to managing trouble, but I've said support you when it comes to understanding and evaluating the four key areas of um, performance improvement when it comes to travel managers. And these are process optimization, spend control, compliance and audit, and last but not least, reporting. So when it comes to process opt optimization, we usually talk about digitalization and about automation and how these can improve the workflows of your company with uh, having less human errors, for example, and providing at the same time more cleaner and precise data. Also, having a more automated and digitalized solution will help your employees when they're on the go because there are, there, they will be able to access the solution anytime, anywhere. Spend control is by far one of the biggest pillars when it comes to travel managers and having a solution that allows you to decrease spend or anyway negotiate fares and rates in order that to maintain the costs as they are, for example, is fundamental. If you know also where your employees are and where they're booking travel, you know the rates and fares that they're going to be using, and these are going to be exactly the same fares and rates that you yourself negotiated, hand in line with the goals of your travel program. Also, at the same time, if you know where they book, hopefully the solution that you chose or advertised, you also know that you will be able to get that data that will in turn help you uh, in negotiating uh, better fares, better rates with, with your uh, providers, preferred providers. When it comes to compliance and audit, what is fundamental is to have a solution that allows you to progress with, first of all, the business travel industry and at the same time, the regulation within each country that you're deployed in. And last but not least, we have reporting. Reporting is, is key, data is key, because it allows to feed uh, the circle of growth of the company, travel management data, back to the growth of the company. All of this is a vicious circle that continues to feed itself through data. So when we think about business travel, and specifically organizing it, this is a I love and hate this slide because it shows the complexity of business travel, but at the same time, it doesn't show what each one of us wants to portray to our users, portray to our employees, which is simplicity. The tip of the iceberg is simplicity, but below it is a world of complexity. It's not a world for the faint-hearted. That's, that's business travel. So what are the queries that we should instead be asking our travel partner when coming to evaluate a part now or a solution for business travel. First things first, what is important to ask is, can you manage my travel program? Now, this seems a, an easy question, but in theory, but in practice, it's, it's like saying, I've got a travel program, it's full of details, can your technology support that? Do you have a technology that allows to, um, to regulate and utilize and, and be able to perform in every single difference where I'm deployed in every single country. The second question to, to ask would be, what will be the experience for my travelers and the arrangers? Without adoption, the travel program doesn't work. Without adoption, your OBT will not work, your travel program will not work, you will not have data coming through, you will not feed the growth of your company. 
how will you help my travel program succeed and get savings? Now, getting savings is a fundamental part of every travel program. If a partner cannot help you get those savings, then, then I think it's probably about time to change partner. And last but not least, what can I buy through you? Content like data is king. Being able to provide to our travelers content in every single region that we're deployed in, in every single country that we're deployed in, will feed adoption. And again, that circle of adoption, data, and, and growth. So when it comes to choosing an online booking tool, there are some, some levers, there are some variables that we need to consider. We always need to consider that the online booking tool requires to lower our transaction fees, or better said, requires to maintain low our transaction fees. The same could be said for the average daily rates or the, the fare prices, the ticket prices. Now, that comes down to, yes, uh, the online booking tool, but it also comes down to our travel partner, and it also comes down to the data, as we said uh, previously, but also comes down to, of course, to our, our buying power. And last but not least, a solution, an online booking tool, requires to provide good quality of data. So the good quality of data is really fundamental. It comes to, again, feeding the circle that we were talking about. And data, the right flow of data, when we consider uh, a solution, requires to have an extraction, or better said, that tool requires to extract the right data from the right source of data, and that could be ticketing data, it could be PNR data, it could be expense data as well. It needs to store it, be able to store it and not disrupt and have it disrupted. It, uh, it needs to be consulted, meaning myself as a travel manager, I need to be able to formulate the reports that really create a story for me. And then dissemination. How do I present this? to my senior execs, for example, what is the story that I want to tell to my senior execs? So in doing so, three key components when it comes to choosing a tool and specifically choosing the right data tool is really centralization, centralization of data, classification, what kind of a persona am I going to think of when building a report, for example, and visualization, how can I show this case, this internally? How can I make sure that the reports that I create go far and are meaningful to tell the story that I want to tell? Bill, over to you. Wonderful. Thanks, Roberto. So how do you make the right expense management choice for the future? When you review your travel and expense processes and solutions, don't just check if they are fit for purpose now. You should also ask yourself, is it going to be fit for purpose in the future? Now, we all know that technology is changing at a rapid pace. So how will your traveling expense solutions react to this? Will they be at the forefront or will they lag behind? You should look beyond the core workflow. For example, things like lounge passes, things you're not considering in the basic booking process. You can use the data to get great value for all the ancillary services that your travelers are utilizing. Now, for us, architecture is everything. Look for solutions that are built on modern architecture, those that have the ability to add new capabilities quickly, but are agile in their development in things like releasing updates, features, functionality, and enhancements, and how they are responding to new technologies such as artificial intelligence and bots. How will your T&E suppliers react to new players in the market? So following on from here, three areas that an organization that wants to be future ready should think about are the growth of the company, how can the company be more profitable and successful? And of course, risk, both for travelers and for the company. These are the things that will affect your future ready reality. And some of the business drivers for this could be creating the best possible user experience, ensuring operational efficiency for travelers and for the finance teams, organizational agility so that you can scale and grow as and when needed. And it's about providing an employee experience that, that it's the best it can be. You can use these business drivers when you are, that are evaluating and selecting the right T&E suppliers for your company. What are the things that are most important as you are evaluating your spend management processes? As you grow and evolve as an organization, growth in terms of company size and geographies, 
is the solution you choose going to be future ready? Look for companies and solutions. That will help you scale up your requirements easily, like Agencia and Chrome River, that have global capabilities and experience. Architecture really is everything. It's important to have a solution that is easily configurable so that it is tailored to the way you work and can change and evolve as your business changes. For instance, is your company operating different cost centers, subsidiaries, or across multiple countries where you have variations in company or travel policy? Consider things like per diems, mileage, or tax differences between countries. It's important to be seeking out solutions that can be configured to accommodate those needs today, but can easily be updated. For instance, changing tax rates without it being hard-coded in the system would simply make it costly and clunky to change. Integrations are vital. Looking at solutions that connect with multiple external systems so that you can analyze your corporate card spend, things like Uber, and of course, travel management company bookings. Your, tro your chosen travel and expense solutions need to connect with your internal systems like your ERP, HR, and CRM so that you can make use of the information and optimize that data for smarter, more informed decision making. Mobile, it's no longer a good to have. Your users expect a fully mobile solution to book their travel and to manage their expenses. And this is especially true for your road warriors who are out meeting clients all the time traveling for business. They want to be able to work almost entirely from their smart devices. The way we have worked has changed and the technology support that is now better than ever it has been. So when it comes to the expense process, you don't want to experience any limitations. A modern system will allow you to take photos of receipts and automatically extract the data without you having to enter it yourself. Your employees want to submit expense reports on the fly to be able to recall and edit them. Approvers want and need to be able to approve expenses easily and quickly regardless of the device they're using, whether it's a smartphone, tablet, or a laptop. And it's not uncommon to travel with two or three devices. So having a completely mobile experience is essential. Artificial intelligence and greater automation. Well, the good news is that these are here today. It's happening everywhere. Autobots can interact with your ERP system behind the scenes, looking for approval and doing budget checks for greater control and compliance, and reducing the time it takes to do it, from hours and days down to minutes. To take advantage of the newer technology that's already out there and available. That's why architecture is so important. You don't want your travel and expenses to be clunky bolt-on or band-aid type functions. Value creation, looking at data analytics and capabilities to deliver real return on investment. Prem River is unique in this situation in that we've been looking at what is the future of spend management. It's no longer just a cost minimization strategy. You need to look at the activities in the business that drive revenue so that you can shift the focus to optimizing the spend that drives the best ROI. Up until now, the data hasn't really been available to do this. So this is something we're doing that's unique to Chrome River. It's called Prosper. So these are some of the things that businesses are looking for from an expense management solution to drive greater value to the business. We want greater control and we want it now. Mobility is a key part of this strategy. Any device, one digital experience with all the features in whichever one you choose to use. Whether you're in the office on your laptop, waiting for your coffee to be brewed, or sat in an airport lounge, you want to be able to carry on working, booking travel, and submitting your expenses. We want to be able to snap a photo of a receipt and for the system to process it for us so we don't have to spend time keying in things like the amount, the merchant, the date, etc. It's laborious. So OCR, optical character recognition, is key to removing this work from your users so that they can complete expense reports quicker and easier than ever before. But a word of warning, not all OCR is the same. When you're doing your assessment, consider the speed and the accuracy. How quickly the data is extracted you want it done in minutes, not hours or days. And how accurate? Good systems are getting upwards of 90 to 95% accuracy. Your users want to get real-time alerts so they know where their expense reports are in the workflow. For example, are they sat with the approver? Or has the approver requested more information about a particular expensive item? 
Your users want their expenses reimbursed as quickly as possible. Approvers want to be able to have choice in how they approve. Do they get an email or can they approve from the app? Ideally, they can do it either or. And make use of the artificial intelligence and autobots to catch fraud before it happens. And practically have expense reports by themselves. Getting the most out of your data. Chrome River is able to gather all of your travel data from your travel management company, plus the credit card and out-of-pocket cash expenses. Having all of your travel and expense data in one place allows you to gain a deeper insight into how and where the company's money and employees' time is being spent. It will give you the total cost of each trip. Having all of this data allows you to track the expense amounts and the expense types to determine impact of your spend on company revenues. This is one of the baseline requirements you can expect of a modern expense management solution. And it's important to be able to easily and quickly access the information in real time in report and dashboard format. It can, for example, be used for negotiation of supply discounts and the ongoing management of your air, hotel and car programs. Having the best prices and deals in policy will of course help you to reduce program leakage. Another key area to get the most out of your data is being able to identify questionable spend and spot expense fraud, such as, ex such as flagging or alerting approvers when an employee is submitting the same receipt for two separate claims, or expenses for items that were never used, such as a cancelled airline ticket or registration fee for a conference that the employee didn't attend and subsequently had refunded. The Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, they do exist, say that each instance of fraud can result in 114,000 loss to your company. That's a big number. And a well-managed expense management system will allow you to identify spend patterns and behaviours so that you can work with your teams to have the insight to isolate any wasteful spend or to better manage those employees that submit expenses habitually late. We have hit a point of diminishing returns in controlling costs. It's now more about creating value for the business, or to put it another way, giving the business a boost. So how do we do this? We have endless amounts of travel and expense spend data. By having an easy way to analyze this information, we can use it to accelerate business performance and cut unnecessary travel and expense activities that are not positively contributing to the revenue and success of the business. This can be done right down to cost center or a specific project. This is done by integration of expense management data with your CRM data to help the finance team and sales operations increase the return on investment. Organizations can now gain clarity into how much is being spent to acquire and maintain customers. Not just how much is spent, but how, when, and on what. Perhaps you have a sales director that has a taste for fine wine and expensive restaurants. But it's actually okay because they just signed a deal that's worth millions of pounds to the business. And what if you can avoid a freeze on travel impacting your business activities by focusing on proven revenue generating activities? That's super awesome, right? To sum it up, to future-proof your expense management solution investment, what should you consider? Remember that in software as a service solutions, architecture is everything. In terms of how the system has been built, how it works in the cloud, the speed that it can be updated, or reconfigured to meet your changing needs both now and in the future. This is critical. Automation, having that one system of truth to get the most accurate data, which has been supported by reliable, quick, and accurate OCR technology that can be layered with artificial intelligence and bots to further automate your processes. This allows you to get the right information to the right people. This allows you to do things like budget checks against budget information that's stored in your systems before the money has been spent. You can enforce policy and compliance, identify behaviors that may indicate fraud is happening and stamp it out early and quickly. Usability is key. No one screen size has more than 30% of the market share. 90% of people move between devices to accomplish goal, whether it's on a smartphone, tablet, desktop, or TV. This is why at Chrome River, we provide a single digital experience across all platforms to the end users, to the finance teams, to the approvers, that can move from their mobile device to their laptop 
having the same consistent and intuitive experience regardless of the device they're using. Security is important too, right? In the expense and travel environment, there is a lot of sensitive data. So having a robust and secure system across all environments with strong encryption whilst it's in transit is essential. Compliance not only to your business rules and T&E policy, but you also need systems that comply with relevant laws, policies, and regulations of the various countries your business may be operating in. The solutions you choose need scalability, not only to be able to support your expansion plans locally, but across the region and globally. A solution that will evolve and grow with your expansion plans. The policies that you deploy today are likely to evolve over the coming years. So you will need to change your rules, tax requirements, approval workflows as you set up new offices and subsidiaries. You need solutions that allow you to easily make those changes and be future ready without the costly outlay of time and money. Now as I wrap up here today, I want to leave you with a few things to remember when choosing your travel management company and your expense management software. Take into, take into consideration your growth, profit and risk. Look for companies and solutions that are constantly innovating and keeping pace with the changing technology. And importantly, those that are going to be good long-term partners to you as you grow and evolve. Thanks so much for joining Roberto and me today. If you want to know more, please don't hesitate to contact us. And with that, I'll hand you back to Moritz for Q&A. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you very much, Roberto, for the very interesting insights. We've received a few questions, and should you still have any questions that you would like to ask us, please um, do send them over. Um, I would say let's just start right away. Um, we have a few questions here for Bill. So where do you get your data from, Bill? Thanks, Moritz. Thanks for the uh, the question. So there's uh, there's, a, there's a few places that we get the data from today. Uh, one, of course, is, is the travel data. So we can take the travel data from uh, Agentia uh, into Chrome River. Uh, we can also take credit card data into Chrome River. And then, of course, we get the, the images, the receipts, the invoices, which we can also read the data from when it comes in. So there's a, a few different ways we can take the data in, and we're able to merge that data with the, the receipt images. And then we obviously present that to the uh, the users when they're doing their expenses. Okay, yeah, another great question. Thank you for that. So um, the OCR uh, has, has got better. The machines that we use to, to read the receipts has got better, as you would expect over time. The, the more receipts we put into the system, the, the better they get. Uh, Chrome River recently updated our, our OCR technology to use uh, Google Vision. Uh, one of the main challenges with, with OCR was the, the merchants, so the actual logos or the merchants on the receipt. So we now use uh, Google Vision to help us with that, so our accuracy levels have, have gone up to be a, a lot higher. For example, a Starbucks receipt, you'd imagine we get quite a lot of those. The accuracy levels for those are pretty much 100%. Uh, and even uh, even handwritten receipts now, the machines are able to, uh, to, to learn from those, to recognize handwriting, and, uh, and that works pretty well. But of course, as you would expect, the, the accuracy is, is quite a bit lower for the, for the handwritten receipts. Thanks for the question. Right. I think that brings us to a question from Roberto. Um, from Agencia or Payment Solution or both? Who do you cooperate with in terms of payment solutions? Roberto, would you like to take that one? Yeah, absolutely. So that's, I think this question was also answered uh, partially by Bill in terms of credit cards. So we do, um, the way in which we integrate with, um, with Chrome River, if we think about, let's say, one part of the payment solution, so that it's credit cards and large cards, we really get, um, the uh, the feed, uh, or better said, Chrome River gets the credit card feed and does get the expense that it was uh, uh, basically used uh, to to pay for the expense. So that then gets reconciled at the user level uh, from Chrome River. 
everything of course that is on account so anything that is paid for by uh anything that is paid for uh in terms of uh check or, or v pay for example really uh will um will instead be invoiced back to the customer from Egentia. Who we cooperate with in terms of solutions, that is that is the usual, let's say, credit card providers, it's, it's Amex, it's, it's, it's Air Plus, for example, as well. So um, we accept also other forms of payment, as I was mentioning, uh, the on-account ones, uh, specifically considering check uh, and, and direct debit. Moritz, back to you. Perfect. Thanks so much. I think we have another one here for Bill. Um, will we ever get a fully automated expense report? How close are we now? Thank you for that. Um, yeah, well, the good news is we're, we're already pretty close, right? I think the advances in the, the optical recognition, uh, recognition technology, the, the machine learning, uh, we're able to take a lot of the data now and capture that from the images and, and you know, to avoid you having to, to retype or, or re-input that information in. Uh, of course, the, the, the simpler the expense claim, the easier it is for us to, to sort of read that and, and to sort of create the expense report for you. And I think the advances in machine learning uh, are just making it more likely now to automatically suggest or allocate codes to specific expenses. So, yeah, it, it could be better. Of course, it's always improving, uh, but already today it's, uh, it's pretty good. Thanks, Moritz. Okay, and then we have another one for Roberto. We use Dibon the expense. Is this integratable with Agencia? Right now, this is not in, um, integrating with Agencia, but we would welcome anyway uh, new partners in terms of uh, ex, um, in terms of expense providers. Um, <clears throat> please do contact us, and we can put in place a uh, we can put in place. We can put in place a, um, a business case, the usual, uh, let's say, exercise when it comes to integrating a partner, which is understanding the the business case behind it. And so, please do reach out to us, and we will look into that a bit a bit more. Okay, um, let's look at what are expense companies doing to make use of technologies like bots and machine learning. That is something for you, I would say. Thanks, Moritz. Uh, yeah, so the, I think the bot technology is, is great for automating the repetitive task, right? So if there's a, a simple yes, no answer, I, I think the bots that are able to do that now. Uh, so that works pretty well. Um, if you've got, uh, for example, a, a specific budgets, if you're a university or higher education, not for profit, that kind of thing, uh, you know, we can use the bots to check budgets uh, to make sure that the money's there before it's spent. So Perhaps you could use the pre-approval process as part of that, and the bots can do that sort of in the background to, to check that you've got the money before you go and spend it. Um, and then, you know, the machine learning it can be used to identify, you know, how an expense could be categorised by looking at, you know, previous patterns and that kind of thing. So, I think you know, the bots, the machine learning, the AI is it can be used to a, a certain degree, uh, and I think we're going to see that improving over time as uh, as we sort of carry on through this year. Thanks, Moritz. Perfect. We got um, two comments, basically, that are, I would say um, best to answer by Roberto. Um, one is Go Cardless, and the other one is Agencia Licensing Model. So I'll, uh, I'll start off with the licensing model. Now, the licensing model is, is more a, a kind of a pricing model for, I would say, cloud-based solutions. We do provide those, uh, but our model is really a TMC more base one, which is revolving around service, revolving around the actual uh, DNR fee, transactions fee that goes along with it. Um, with regards to Go Cardless, and if I understand well, Go Cardless is a provider of um, of um, being being sure that uh, a provider is is paid. It's Go Cardless is a new provider of uh, of let's say being able to pay. A, um, a provider. Now we don't, unfortunately, yet integrate with Go Cardless. It's definitely a, a very, very value-added uh, partner. Uh, but, but as things stand, we, we currently don't integrate with them. Moritz, over to you. Right. Um, we have quite a long question here. 
With TMCs and automated travel policy enforcement, companies like mine with sophisticated travel programs are getting to the point that the cost of business travel can't really be lowered without degrading the overall traveler experience. How can companies get more value out of their travel program? I think that's a good one for you again, Roberto. Yeah, and that is definitely a long question. I do fully agree with you. So it's actually a great question as well. It's um, I think the way to, to answer this question is what do we do in terms of of value? What do we do in terms of adoption? We can continue to look at data uh, and uh, and build on that data to try to squeeze a bit more out of our, our providers, out of our hotels, for example. But at the same time, what, what kind of a reporting do we have in place in order to, to showcase our, the value that we bring to the company? What kind of uh, reporting can I show, for example, to, to the leadership in order to understand, hey, with this cost savings, I'm, I've been able to provide these revenue generating trips for you. So it's really about probably putting in place some metrics from one point of view, putting in place some metrics that really say, um, this is the return on investment on, of what you are spending in travel. So analyze spend versus revenue generation, for example, or or it could be comparing the uh, the expense data versus versus your CRM system at the same time. So with regards instead to adoption, which is another, I would say, uh, uh, area, the more, the more you automate uh, a solution, the more you provide an automated solution to your employee that has the right content, that gives you the right features and functionality, and has the right, I would say, tools for that employee to utilize when he or she is on travel, the more you will get uh, an increase in productivity and uh, and usually that is, um, I would say, quite a complex um, process to, in order to get adoption. And it's usually always about educating, 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 educating. Of course, having the right OBT um, in place at the very start that, again, as I mentioned earlier, has the right content and the right uh, usability of it. So at the end of the day, by educating, by putting in place those internal uh, marketing campaigns, you can measure the... Uh, the success of how the adoption was before and how it, it, it was going to be after and, and, and cascade that into, again, another cost savings and, and value creation and return on investment discussion. Lawrence? Actually, Roberto, I'm just going to add something to that, if I may. I, I think one of the, the key things we'd like you to take away from today's webinar is we know that it's very difficult now to to squeeze more cost savings out of business travel, right? So, so perhaps look at the you know the value creation from your your travel and expense program. You know, some of the things we can do now is is look at the the CRM data with all the expense data that we're getting in, and we can look to see if if you're spending uh, enough money on sales or, or existing customers to retain them. Uh, and this will allow you to, to think more carefully about where you spend your, your travel and expense, uh, pounds, euros, dollars, uh, and just be a bit more thoughtful about that. So uh, it helps you to plan, I think, better for the future. And uh, we hope that it will take away the, the thought of you know, doing things like travel freezes and the like, because you can actually be a lot more thoughtful about where you spend your, your money and, and where you're going to get your, your greatest return on investment. Thanks, Moritz. All right, I don't see any further questions coming in at this stage. Um, and we're also pretty much at the end of um, our session. So I would say that brings us to an end. Uh, on behalf of Agencia and Chrome River, let me just say thank you very much for joining today from wherever you are. Um, we hope you could take some key findings from today. We hope maybe to even um, welcome you again in a future webinar. And should you have any further questions, please do feel free to reach out to us um, at any time, and we'd be happy to um, get back to you to answer your questions. So that would leave me with just wishing you a nice rest of the day. And yeah, we look forward to having you in our, one of our next webinars. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you all.